a lot of chemistry freshers come to me saying that they're applying for the job but not getting selected and what skills they require or they would need to get placed into the industry into their dream job so in this video we're going to talk about top 10 analytical chemistry techniques which you should know as a MSc chemistry fresher and it will help you get that dream job in a chemis chemical sciences or chemistry company. Now to start with you have to know this that analytical chemistry is the backbone of industry and there are various jobs available for an analytical chemist. So I'm going to tell you briefly about 10 techniques which you should have hands on on and that will help you achieve success in your career. Now to start with, the first one is High Performance Liquid Chromatography, HPLC. Now as you know, this particular technique is used for separating, identifying and quantifying components in a mixture. And it is widely used in pharmaceutical analysis, environmental testing as well as food safety. So this particular technique is a must have if you want to do. Now you'll ask, where can I get the hands-on on this? For HPLC, if you join any temporary project in any of the CSIR labs as a JRF or a project assistant or a research assistant, you will get exposure to HPLC. Now the second one is gas chromatography. Now it is similar to HPLC, but it is used for volatile compounds. Now it is applied in the petrochemical industry, that is petrochemical analysis, environmental monitoring, and forensic science. So gas chromatography is also a well sought out skill set which you should have. The third one which you should have is mass spectrometry, MS. Now often it is coupled with either GC or HPLC. Now MS provides precise molecular weight and structural information of compounds and it is critical for pharmacology studies, toxicology studies, and proteomics. So mass spectrometry is the third skill set which you should master as a master student. Now the fourth one will be NMR which is Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. Now NMR is used to determine the structure of organic compounds. It is indispensable in the pharmaceutical industry, structural biology, biotech research and material science. So NMR spectroscopy is a very crucial skill set which you should learn as soon as you pass or during your master's itself. The next one which uh, I would highly recommend you all is FTIR which, is which stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. Now this technique measures the absorption of infrared radiation by materials, providing information about molecular structure and composition. It is used in chemical, pharmaceutical and materials research. So FTIR is also a highly recommended skill set which you should learn. The next one which I would recommend, the sixth one will be UV visible spectroscopy. So as you can see spectroscopy has various branches and all of this is very much important. So now UV visible spectroscopy is a method of quantifying how much UV or visible light a substance is absorbing. Now it is commonly used in analysis of dyes, water quality and also food products. So UV visible spectroscopy is also one skill set which you have to learn. Followed by that you need to learn AAS that is atomic absorption spectroscopy. Now AAS is, measure, is used to measure the concentration of metal ions in solutions. It is crucial for environmental analysis, food safety, quality control in the metal processing industry. So Atomic absorption spectroscopy is a must if you want to get into metallurgical industries. Followed by that you have ICPMS which stands for Inductively Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry. Now it is an advanced technique for detecting metals and several non-metals at a very very low concentration. It is essential in environmental monitoring, geochemistry and clinical research as well. So ICPMS is again a well sought, sought out after uh, technique which you should learn. Now followed by that the ninth one which I will highly recommend you is electrochemical analysis. Now techniques like voltammetry and potentiometry is used for analyzing chemical substances. We all know that. Now these are very important for environmental analysis, sensor development and studying the oxidation reduction that is the redox uh, reactions. 
Now again, highly sought after technique you should learn. Next one which I would recommend you is X-ray diffraction which is also known as XRD. Now it is used in determining the atomic and molecular structure of crystals. Now it is used as a fundamental in material science, geology and development of pharmaceuticals. This is, so these are the 10 techniques which you should learn as a pharmaceutical or a chemistry graduate and postgraduate and if you build expertise in this and followed by that if you build a good communication skill and soft skill every industry in the chemical, pharma and biotech industry will come running after you and they will hire you. Remember, to get a dream job, you also should be the dream candidate, which the HR is looking for. So if all the parameters are fitting in, then only you can get your dream salary also. So keep in mind these 10 skill set which you have to imbibe in yourself as a MSc chemistry graduate fresher, postgraduate fresher, and then you see the whole world will come towards you. All the best. Keep shining. Bye-bye.